Okay, so real quick video here. Um, I finally remembered to save one of my uh, used up uh, done um, sensors, Dexcom sensors, and I tore this apart. I actually took it out to my grinder and uh, ground on it for a while to see what was inside here. So what we've got here is uh, two of these batteries. They're SR1120 uh, W's, which is a bit of a strange bird. These are one and a half, 1.55 actually spec voltage batteries. Um, so I'm guessing that they're using these two uh, in series to get something close to TTL levels. Not a lot going on in here. The um, piece obviously comes, it's just like this is the unmodified battery. So there's two of them. This here folds over here and is tack welded to the top of the battery. I assume the <clears throat> bottom is probably somehow connected to the circuit board as well. There's a copper plane here, ground plane here to the circuit board. And it's a multi-level circuit board, so it's a fairly complicated thing. There's a larger chip here. This is probably the main brain for the uh, unit. Here are two contacts that actually make it out. So obviously this one I'm not going to bother trying to change the batteries on because it's I've ground through a lot of the components. It's obviously a dead uh, I'm guessing this loaded section here is a little loading coil here. I think this is actually the antenna that uh, talks to your phone or to the, uh, the the Dexcom sensor itself, the CGM sensor itself. So, at any rate, I think the next plan I'll have is, uh, because now I know where these are located inside the epoxy, uh, I may clamp the next one up in the mill um, and try to mill out just the battery sections. And if I can do that without damaging any other components, I don't know, there might be some surface mount stuff down close to the batteries that I wasn't able to find here, but if I can get rid of the batteries um, without damaging anything else, I'll try replacing them and see if the sensor will come back to life. I uh, don't know, this is a mod that uh, a lot of folks will have the equipment or wherewithal to run, but I thought the information was interesting. So again, the only reason we ever have to throw these things away and get a new one is because the batteries go dead. So it occurred to me that if the batteries could be replaced, um, Ingenious creatures could uh, replace their own batteries and move on. It was really hard to get at these components because of the epoxy. So it's not a simple snap together device. They actually put this thing in a fixture and forms or form the epoxy around the components, which is really clever because uh, it's not going to make replacing the batteries easy. Anyway, there you go.